Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, innovative, and amazing propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one and only Master Propaganda Heroes like Defender of the Fatherland of you to a 1v1 on the community map Torch, which is, well, not in the actual auto batch pool yet. Just figured to point that out. But, anyways, made by the community, we are off here. In the east, we have Pax Ajax fighting for freedom and democracy. Here with the 3rd Infantry Division, with Advanced Infantry, whereas in the West it is Orange Pest. Most Orange of Pests, fighting for the Wehrmacht of Germany, Deutschland, here with the Fallschirm Brigade Ramke. Fallschirm Pony is popping in, we got a Dull Pony start as well. He allows Orange Pests to grab as much terrain as he can in the early game. Rifleman ready! Rifleman out there for Pax Ajax. So, Fallschirm Pony is popping to a nearby factory building here. Occupying it, ready to deal with any advancing Americans. As always, a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters for the continued and general support of the propaganda cast. Allowing me to keep making all these wonderful videos. And a big hearty thanks to keep commenting and liking on them. Helps out immensely as well with the YouTube algorithm, which otherwise you know prefer to be buried. Pioneers in the South here. So, second half squad here for PAX. Bit interesting, I think. There's definitely some variations in the infant, advanced infantry openings. But I definitely see a lot like double scouts and kinesis. It's just like, you know... Have more stuff to cap within the early game, but Pax Ajax clearly prefers just having more ripe nuts sooner, so that is a bit of an interesting note there. MD42 for Orange Pest to follow up on the Falchion Pioneers and regular Pioneers. Falchion Pioneers remain in a strong position, clearly feeling that he can, you know, defend quite a bit here, make it harder for Mr. Pax Ajax to sail into them. Last well, got moving forwards here, and quickly spotting the Falchion Pioneers, decide they maybe got better places to be. South side here, Pioneers moving up. We got a third rival squad there for Pax Ajax. Scion of Democracy and Liberty. Right there, busy grabbing a bit here as well. Very quiet. Pioneers popping forwards. Machine gun team, they also following up here. We'll have to see what is next here for Orange Press. Will it be more fudge in Pioneers? Will it be Tech? Will it be Grenadiers? Will it be another MD42? Third rival squad ready there for Pax Ajax. Rob Scott moving forwards here. Very quiet opening so far. Very quiet opening. There you go. First shot's fired here. Pony's been pushed back. Up north here. Rob Scott moving northwards here. Falchion Pony's. I feel like you'd have been doing more there with them, honestly, and just uh, keeping them there. Might just be me. Machine Hing South is going to catch Rob Scott here. And there we do get Grenadiers for Orange Pest. You may ask, of course, why go for Grenadiers if you've got Falchion Pony's? Well, the Grenadiers have Panther Thouse, the Falchion Pony's do not. But also. They do have the ability to merge, which helps you to then keep the cost of the Fajim Pioneers down in general when it comes to reinforcing, but also later Fajim Jaegers. So, some players like Orange Pest prefer having some Grenadiers about, even they're not relying on them as the main infantry because merge is just such a good ability. Fourth Rouse Squad for Pax Ajax, going really hard on his GIs. Up north here, Fajim Pioneer being see it, spotting Rouse moving through some burned out factory halls here. In the south here, Rouse Squad, they're being assailed as. Orange Pest commits more and more troops here. Fourth Rav Squad ready. Infantry support center here. Falchion Peony firing away, but the Grenadiers are doing a good job. The same claim. We got a second Grenadier Squad for Orange Pest. That actually ends up being a somewhat heavy tier one there. One Falchion Pioneer Squad, two Grenadiers, and then two, and double Pioneers. Bold and interesting. Rav Squad making run here for the center munitions point here. Grenades on the way there for Pax Ajax on top of the Infantry support center. Got range is also an option. That could certainly make things tough here for Orange Pest. Machine catch from our squad here in the south side here. Pioneers versus Scouts. Grenadiers moving to support as well here, though. Both German squads here are definitely not in the best of states. Truth be told. Orange Pest going for the Luftwaffe Company. There we go. Quick merge here. Thumbs up there to Orange Pest. You may not think about merging Grenadiers with the Pioneers, but again, the Pioneers up close to a bit more DPS. It can be sort of a worthwhile thing. In this case, allow them to probably just get a wipe on the scouts. The ISC's been upgraded. Thumbs up there. And particularly once your Pioneers get some veterans here, fling for emerging Grenadiers with them can be quite good. Machine there pushed back with Ralph Squads here. Up north here, they again continue driving movement here by Pax Ajax behind Orange Pest back. He's definitely making a bit of a mess thing there for Orange Pest. Captain out as well there. Grenadiers, Pioneers finally being pushed back since. Again, while well, he has merged at this point, though, it is worth pointing out that Pioneers are still on health and so the Grenadiers that anyone's going to just die at this point. So better get them back and sort of healed up here. Lufa for company down there for Orange Pest and the Falchion Brigade Ramke. 
Sandbags being repaired here. Pax definitely pushing hard here for map control. We got the two to one there for Orange Pest and the German army. You like to shoot some Panzerwagen. Pax is really just dominating the map here with his rifleman so far. And we've got more scouts on the way there. Bit rare to see scouts this late into the game, but at the same time, they do provide packs with a lot of utility, so it's not a bad choice at all. I think it's just a bit of a surprising one since most players, if they lose their scouts, rarely replace them. Fighting Pani's on off the captain. But the captain's machine in this definitely proved to be quite helpful for them, and the Fighting Pani's uh, do like one themselves. Ooh, we got a seal hunter out of here, flung into the factory hole. Their routes got pushed out. Then he's doing with the can further south here. We got the two to one pushing forts further south here. Pioneer's machine guns are they ready. Armored car, they quickly engaging the routes, got flanking them. Needs to be careful the bird snares. And Pax just, you know, sees where this is going, retreats his rump and rather than sacrifice them upon the altar of democracy. Glenny's been going to try and merge with the Fudge and Pioneers perhaps, but at this point, both squads are so low and healthy. Again, the question is how much he's going to be able to like gain in terms of value from this. Armor car getting snared up, very good. No ranges out of Pax Ajax yet. Weapon support center. It's only one thing that's worth noting about Pax Ajax. He actually goes for the weapon support center fairly sort of consistently. Most players would rush for the boater pool, but Pax is, uh, you know, Pax is Pax. Definitely doesn't mind going for the weapon support center there. Armor car kind of needs in the south of the Rob score. Black 30 there for Orange Pest and the Falschirm Brigade Ramke, third Falschirm Mega Company. But yeah, the lack of healing is proving to be an increasingly massive problem here for Orange Pest. Like, he needs to, like, either get the healing going sooner, being build a medic bunker. Because he's got so many squads that are low healthy, in several cases, just and then just get murdered and just bleed out. So that really doesn't help him and only just makes it easy for Pax Ajax. So I think at this point. He needs to at least, you know, get prioritized some healing here before things go very pear shaped for Orange Pest in a sudden swing. Got a half track out here for Pax Ajax, upgrading with the Interstate Half Track. Also worth noting about Pax Ajax, he's probably one of the highest rank issues of places he actually used that one consistently. So thumbs up there to Pax Ajax. As soon as Rob's will hit, quick grenade off. Black 30 tang into them. Ram the center for the Grenadier there. There we go, Orange Pest for the healing. Got the Armored Car, this Captain. Then his ponies being forwards. Arp Tech bombarding for the, in the name of democracy. Looking to snuff out those goddamn crats by the center. Bit of heavy bombardment going on there. Further south here, we got to think about the Ralph Squads. Pioneers need to get careful. Fudge Megas and I was an option here for Orange Pest. A mighty Fudge Megas. Glenn uses Ralph Squad. Flag 30 could support, but maybe the anti-tank half trick is keeping Orange Pest just a bit careful. And there you go. 20 millimeters of death they're being unleashed upon the Ralph Squad. The MD42 joining in, absolutely making sure these guys are suppressed. Glenn and these big swarm in the center of the Ralph Squad. We got the armor car nearby supporting. But without heavier anti-tank weapons, that anti-tank half tank is going to be a hard headache and a half here for Orange Pest's uh, armored car. Machine and then catching the rafts with your and Pani is... Well, obviously need to fix up the armored car, but they also need to get healed up. They are still exceptionally unhealthy, though, of course, at least now, Orange Pest does have the medical station up there in the base. The AR's in the way there for Pax Ajax. Still no sound of Rangers, though. Rafts will push back with the MU-42, got the flak further in forts. Like 30, of course, as the war would normally increase, be, increase be used less in the anti-aircraft role and increasingly just be more used more than just shooting at ground targets role. Alongside its more up-armored version, the Flak 38, which basically just added a gun shield to this thing, and the Flak Feeling, which, as you see, there was also known as the Flak 38, but obviously, you know, had four guns. Black Freddy being hammered here with the anti tank. Oh, that anti tank half tank again. We got support on us there for Orange Pest Machine being pushed back. South side here, Pioneers closing on the Rav Squad with bars. That's definitely a loss here. Armored car there, ready to support. And we got a straight from here from Orange Pest to support the Flak 30s retreat here. Good move there by Orange Pest. Lothar for straight from the end, pinning down the Rav Squad here. Pioneers, the old force withdraw. Armored car dashing in. Up north here, Grenadiers basically with the other Grenadiers. Of course, where the scouts joining in. Rav moving up here. 
And we'll have to have the snacks here, but Orange Pest situation is still a bit awkward. The sheer number of rifle with bars is definitely a problem for him. Dickinson's just got a pair of grenadiers, the Fudging Pioneers, and the MD42. He needs more elite infantry to really take on all these rifles. We need something with a bit, you know, bigger bite like a Bibberin. And the problem right now for Orange Pest is fuel wise, he's not quite there due to, again, the less than ideal early game he had here versus Pax Ajax. Gnir's out there to help fix up his anti-tank half pack and probably also just lay down mines and deal with German mines. Northern fuel again falling here to the Americans. Of the 45th Infinite Vision, we got the flank 13 with Rafa going south here. Pioneers closing in with the Falchion Pioneer. Captain Hip arm engaged with the armored cover, the Falchion Brigade Remke. Anti-tank half turning up, catching the captain in the bad spot. Really hectic back and forth action here. Rouse got withdrawing. Scout's healing. Now can further out of Pax's base. Anti tank half tank falling back. Anti tank half tank very much. Some of the first anti tank or self propelled or well, tank destroyers essentially of the US Army, of course, would be replaced later by the M10 and M18, M36, at which point. They would take most of the ones they had and just ship them off to the Soviets. The British would do the same as they also received a bunch of the things. Fun fact. The German army, while it's war, would actually develop their own anti-tank half-tracks and actually use them towards the end of the war. Fun fact there. Oh, That was a bit of a slip there with Pax Ajax allowing Orange Fist here to knock out the anti-tank half-track with his flak half Flak 30 there. About to say flak half-track. Not quite. In the center of the machine, catch Ralph's on Almond Kite to catch Ralph's court here. Orange Pestle with the destruction of the half trade, they definitely have a bit more room to move up. And we also got the addition of Fudge Megacy, which I think further complicates now matters here for Pax Ajax. Now he's something to do with more elite infantry on top of the Armored Kite, and he lacks his anti tank half track. Plus, of course, there's the Fruit in the Flak 30, so things are definitely getting a bit more spicy. Troops back here reinforcing healing, and can using Norfolk with a flamethrower. Pax Ajax clearly not concerned about Orange Pest laying down mines against them. Otherwise, I don't think he'd gone for that. Armored Cow, Pioneer support, and Flak supported in Grafco in the south here. Up north, more fierce fighting here. Grafco occupying vital ground here against the Germans. Oh we must take it back. And we got a. Oh, brief because of the amount of fleet, we got the Vibelwind. Flak Panzer. And we got a strafe against the knees to support the Gunnies for the northern field punt. Thumbs up. Straight for there. Center falling into the Falchion Jaegers. Flag 30 hanging back. Further south. Big push of infantry against the isolated Falchion Pioneer. Bibble vent halfway done here for Orange Pest. So he's definitely with the Falchion Brigade Ramke. Establishing more control against the Americans. We've got another half track here for Pax Ajax. Maybe another anti tank half track. Mines brief considered, but stopped. Here's the rifle in. Falchion Pioneer withdrawing rapidly in the face of the American assault towards the south. Bad Jim Jaegers moving up there. Bad Squad quick to fire back at the Bad Jim Jaegers. We got Captain Ross coming forwards. Bibbly moving up, catching Ross Squad here, carrying into the name with its four auto cannons. North of Ross Squad coming forwards here, armored car knocked out previously. I missed that one, but that's obviously very good there for Pax Ajax. Scouts there. Being met at the movement and its many auto cannons. Falchim gets caught here by the raft caught machine, then pushed back by Tilly Quattle, didn't hit by Pax Ajax Captain. Heroic Captain Thomas P. Winkleberry. We have Flak Finning pushing north in the south. Pawnees bring up with minesweepers. Notable amount of minesweepers here from Orange Pest. Clearly concerned about Pax Ajax laying down mines. So that's a bit worth their pointing out to the difference. Like, you know, Pax Ajax doesn't really care about mines. Orange Pest, meanwhile, his main priority is mines. He's even like popped out the mines from the Fudging Pioneers. He is taking no chance with the mines here from Pax Ajax. That's only a bit of an interesting highlight there, like just how the different players are perceiving, you know, mines as a threat. Interesting half of the squad coming up. We got the Fudging Megas, the Grenadiers firing back here at the advancing Amicanon. Rushing 40 into her fire and now you're getting absolutely molested. We do get a Mark II frag grenade off here. Run to the gun to Fudge me is taking a heavy hit. It could see a wipe if Pax gets lucky. Far south though, Orange Pest is starting to get a bit more aggressive and activate, trying to more deliberately hurt Orange Pest of Pax Ajax economy, not his own. 
machine holding up here. Back at base, trip enforcing healing. Devlin falling back. Sandbacks on the way there. Four inch pass to help make the points more defensible as he grabs them away there from under Pax Ajax nose. Still no ranges for Pax Ajax. Still not much out of the battle at all, in fact. Resources cut off. We have territory as for orange pass, we've always got a bit of this and that. Will he go for a Marder? Will he go for more Vibble Vince? Will he take up? Will he go for more Function Megas? Got Ranger Weapon Training and we got Mortal Weapon for Pax Ajax. Machining that ripping to the Raft Court here. Function Megas going to be pushing northwards here. Catch Raft on a pretty bad spot. Let's see a wipe here. Let's see a wipe, which would be pretty good here for Orange Pest and obviously distinctly less good here for Pax Ajax. But no, it looks like Fortune smiles upon Pax Ajax again. Pioneers here, push back, we got smoke being deployed against the MG42, very good. The event on to move, up north, Flak 30 is supporting the northern push here for Orange Pest. Marta is on the way now for Orange Pest. The Marta Fleet Model M. Good shot there on the Vibblewind by the Antonic half track. No sign of further tech here from Pax Ajax. Got a shot there from the Antonic half track and a send from in the cannon. Marder free almost done. Mortar under fire here, Flak 30 there, trying to assist as well here. Glendies has arrived, caught here, Fudgemigas running around between the ruins. That industrial area. Like 30 moving full that. And we got occupied ground here. Could try and break the building with a fudge Don't know if he's gonna do that, but he could do it. Interesting half to go body now. South here, Ralph's got pushed back further. South point's being seized again. New ability unlocked. New ability unlocked there for PAX. We got the ammunition storage, we got the Howard set. We still don't have anything else battle group. Got the Marder Flea Model M, they're ready. Grenades in the flak 30. Fudge and punching mold as well here. Looking pretty ugly. Good use of smoke as well, but Pax Ajax really obfuscates things here for Orange Pest and creates more chaos and confusion straight from the middle use here. Nice merge here by Orange Pest on the flak 30 crew to save that from being annihilated. That was a really close call there. Thumbs up. Definitely managed to like, you know, save this flak further there from the otherwise really strong push there by Pax. But there you go, Martin Gaten of Entertain half today, slamming it with its Pack 40 there, mounted in the Panzer 38T chassis. The Czechoslovakian tank, which very much underpinned a lot of the German Panzer that in one way or the other. Ralph's got to catch the Fauci Megas here. And certainly many occupy weapons factories would you to supply the germans either with again like you know convert equipment like do straight up weapons for example function makers and often ss troops would apparently make use of a belgian made version of the browning high power pistol amongst other things got an md42 more here for orange pest interesting pick this point in the game not wrong though obviously i mean Orange Pest is infinitely better than me, but it certainly is not something I expect to you. North Eclanius has Ralph Squad here, Vibble and Chart getting engaged in the Ralph Squad here. Snare off. Fudge and Puny advancing further south here, Pond's being grabbed, Piney's Club being wiped out. Marta hanging back. But they would make a lot of, you know, basic, like, you know, weapons platforms of this, like the Marta, but you also had an anti aircraft tank, the Flak Panzer and Active Seed Gepard. Even had, like, some self propelled artillery for close ranges. With the Grille, basically, which fired 150 mm gun, basically, think of it like the Stummel, but with a gun twice as big. Basically. That was like one of the things they made off that, so. Up north, we've got the Enforced Raft Squad here, we've got the Anti Tank Half to Growing Forts, Raft Squad and Support here as well. Pax has also just been really active across the map, but obviously, so is Orange Pest as well. They get both are like, you know, high tier and very aggressive players, so. Makes for very entertaining gameplay and commentary though obviously makes it a bit tricky for me to keep track of it when they're, again they're both very active and they're like it's active across the entire map they're not the type like just you know get tunnel vision into one part of the map here south side in right over the wind machine and they're ripping the route squad here Entering after moving forward, second martyr ready here for the fudge and begada ramke in the face of the 45th infantry up north here route squad in a bit of trouble there 
Mordor can just be a good investment for Pax Ajax. And again, not the way he's using him. Seeing how the scouts he, you know, being cloaked there. It's like, you know, lay down smoke in the most, you know, annoying places here for Orange Pest. Thumbs up. A good use of smoke is a really good skill to have there. And Pax is definitely a good use of his smoke. Airburst shells on the flak 30 crew. Further up north, he is the draft squad here. Really hectic stuff. We're not seeing any further think signs of tanking up here by the side. No Panzer Company for Orange Pest and no tank that yet either at Pax Ajax. Pack Map pushback by a Vibrin M42 combo. Glenys right with Ralph Scott. Almost got a wipe here on Pax Can. Orange Pest score the wipe here on the captain. No, gets a bit stuck there in the runes. No, still doesn't get it. Machine in there finally falls back here by Pax Ajax Mortar Crew. Got the Martyrs hanging back. We actually got Pax Ajax here with a fairly late Bazooka team. And a Bazooka team in the first place. Straight from our name, the crew here. The things are continuing to go quite a bit back and forth here. Bunch of Pyrrhus in the knees here, further south, we've got the Pioneer spotted here by a few men sent up, the Pax Ajax has stopped their little rampage from the south. Martyrs there supporting the Vibberwind, but also supporting the flanks in general, scouts push back, Martyr taking a direct hit from the water. Nice shooting there by Pax Ajax Mortar as always, and we are getting a Panzer Company now for Orange Pest, two thumbs up. Slides so finally getting move up there in terms of armor. Guessing Panda Force, maybe some stars to open. I could also just go for more Fajimigas. If he so desires. As for Pax Ajax, we're not seeing much there. Still not Tank Depot. But I imagine he may soon find himself going for that anyways. We're also still not really seeing any Rangers or anything out of his battle group. Entertain after their scores shot for the side armor. Another great shot. Mardis blasting, probably just to try and destroy the sandbags. The captain's hiding behind, or shooting at the machine at the back to knock out the building, I guess. That is an option, too, obviously. Hunter Company almost on their French pest, flank 30 moving forwards. Wow. He actually makes use of the battle group, and he actually goes to the Rangers in a really bad time. Catching here, Orange Pest Glenady is in a really bad spot, and that's obviously a bit the silly thing with this. You can just convert them anywhere. That's with transporters, it's like, you know, have to send back and all that, but here's like just, they just suddenly become Rangers, like, they just sprout a new uniform, and you're starting looking a lot more rugged and handsome, and, you know, sprout Thompsons when they like just, Chems like, ah, oh, Scheiser. Or they can just melt. All the way though, we actually seeing Rangers out of Pax Ajax, so thumbs up to that. Entertain half tech sneaks up a hit and then quickly disengages. Pax clearly not trying to like slug it out there. No sense with Oh Pioneer's caught trying to repair it. Bit of a slip there, Orange Pest in the heat of battle. Keep in mind here, and I'll just briefly pause to explain it, but units become more vulnerable while they're repairing or building things. So if a pioneer squad is like, you know, under five repairing say a martyr like this, it takes increased damage. So keep that in mind. So also they function Jaeger's body with the Bazooka team, the Scout, and a rifle squad? No, it's in the Jaeger squad, they actually grenade off there in the midst. Marder, they further damage, then he's pushing forwards. Black 30 is more in the south. Bazooka team, there's the Viva Bin. Shots there. Tony is shooting away in there. Up north, few point falling to democracy once more. 30 kill remaining in a good position. And to tank after looking to protect against any southern German pushes. But fighting remains very fierce up at the northern part of the map. Rouse got the map maybe for two being pushed back. Bring up the flag 30. Now a veteran T2. Rangers moving in there with the Thompsons and the BARs. Spraying here, the flag photo crew, but kind of catching there. Looks like it. M4 to Johnny, and there we go. Pax Ajax Rangers. 
Definitely not leading the way anywhere. Entering after me up there. Rav Rangers continue to spread. We've got a Rav Squadron from the other side, but not before the Rangers are rounded, meaning the machine can easily turn around to deal with them. Commander. Further south here, Fudge and Pino versus the Engineers. Still not great on these guys. Almost got the Engineers here down to just Bob there, but Bob does make it out of their life. Up north, Fibberman supporting here. 30 cal getting out of the premises before the premises collapse on them. And there you go. 25 minute mark here. Pax Ajax goes for the tank depot. Orange Fest Mimo going for Panzer IV. The Panzer Kampfwag in fear. Things are about to heat up in the tank department, that's for sure. We've lost control of a sector. Scouts routed. Deep in there spotting the captain. Further north here, we got fresh fun here. Brown Scorpus is moving up there. Marta getting bombarded. Grenadiers, they're trying to block the advance of the Americans, but they're not really doing a great job there. Dissuading them from not attacking forwards. Trying to reorganize up north. Pantafor's almost done. Further south, Fudge and Peony's rushing south. That's Marta Vibram covering up here. And we got the Flak 31 swimming hauled to the front line. Pantafor has arrived here for Orange Pest. The Panzer Kampf Wagen Fanchimiga says the Bazooka team definitely not a great engagement the Bazooka team, but there you go. Pax Ajax calls big fan of white phosphorus like any true American there forcing back the Fanchimigas. Smoke being deployed here, Rangers moving forwards. Got the Ralph Scorpion going to the building, we got Grenade on the flag 30. Rangers falling up here as well. Vibram rushing in there, go popping, it's veteran to one ability here, Flak first about to go wiped out, Ralph's got suppressed here though. Narrowly then, we even got air burst shells up north here, finding here around the building here, Pantafor bombarding the Ralph's squad inside the factory there. Vibram dashing through the center, anti-tank half tech still in the position there. Tank depot up, but nothing yet out of it. Probably just Kyok if I was going on the front line at the moment. Ralph's got forced out of the premises by the Panzer IV. Back. And further south, we got the Fudgeon Pioneers just gobbling up the southern half of the map in the terms of territory. Do we got the uh, Pants Officer Corps with the Orange Pest? Two thumbs up, then excellent upgrade, of course, going to be met with the 30 cal. Fudgeon Mega Suppress as well. High, now the straight from now, Pantafor and Vibram pushing in here. Could be a hard push from Orange Pest up north here, which could leave uh, Pax Ajax crippled if he's not careful. Possibly even pickled. But no. Orange Pest does not quite attack with that much fur. In fact, Panther 4 is now becoming the target of attention of Bazooka teams and the anti-tank half tech Now, veterans here too. Further south, the MD4 is the captain of the scouts still have crawled in here. Pax Ajax is always quick with the response there. East of MD4 too, that needs to withdraw. Further south, the American troops are pushing forwards. And we got the M18 Hellcat ready here for Pax Ajax. Bazooka team met with the Flak 30 and soon the Fudge Makers as well. Hellcat moving forward here. Ooh, saddle charge here. Orange Pest feeling a bit bold here. The Unclub being knocked out. We got the Hellcat rushing forward and getting the Marder. Marder response, of course, with extreme prejudice with its pack 40. Bugs makes him the captain. Got the Panda 4, the Flak 30 moving in. Big push for Pack HF North as well. They just both players managing several engagements quite well. But there you go. Pax Ajax slipping up and the captain fights. Not just the bullet, but a lot of bullets, which typically is fatal. I'm not sure in the Hollywood movie. Range moving forward, see a star swim for Orange Pest. Two thumbs no. I withdraw those two thumbs up. He's not going for them after all. Hellcat, they push back, push it back, Marder. Things getting chaotic here. Might crew the flak photo here with the Fudge and Pioneers. There we go. Marder's being repaired and sent back into the fight. Here's Pax Ajax and the 45th Infantry makes it a pretty aggressive drive up north here. More pioneers for Orange Pest to assist with all the repairs he needs. I mean, he does have two Marders of Panther 4 in the Beagle Bin. He's going to need some guys to repair those with. Bugs Amigas and Grenadiers in the move here. Panther 4 heading north. It's, of course, need repairs. But of course, also do with some armored side skirts. So I imagine right now, Orange Pest priority is probably just more tanks we can get away with it. Though he's more or less pop capped to the point we can't call them in. So armored side skirts could be a good way just to invest resources. 
Doing his rounded here. Ooh, good shot there from the anti tank half there on the machine gun. Marta hanging back. Panther 4 they're fixed up further south here. Ralph's got busy. And there you go, Patch Ajax adding in a second Ranger squad. That's only going to make things more complicated here for Orange Pest. Obviously, as those are going to be quite difficult to deal with. Never mind, there's a potential course he might go for more Rangers down the road. There you go, Marta Ambush, as we get him Hellcats and the Interesting half Tech. Great kill there by Patch Ajax, punishing Orange Pest there for a moment of laxity. Hard to make us push back here by the advancing Ranger squad here of the first Ranger Battalion. Which would see service in North Africa during Operation Torch. Fun fact. Rangers advancing here up north, fast going met here by the Black Third of the Enemy Force and the Gunner DSC. And he's still met by a third of Cal that's trying to go for Northern Victory Point. We've got 256 here versus 302. Fighting continues to be rather aggressively paced here. He's pushed back here, Pantafor pursuing. Still no sign of well, upgrades here for Orange Pest. Gandhi is trying to get closer to the anti tank half tank instead, being met with a heavy volley there, flag 35. We actually have a mortar team out here for Orange Pest. That actually makes a lot of sense considering the situation, so two thumbs up there. Sam X on the sand top, North here, fuel pump following there to the Americans once more. Scouts in the south right over the MU-42 here. Stay push up the centre, mortify the machine, finally pushing him back. And we got, of course, Pax Ajax with his own artillery here. Machine there close, being marked out, flag 30 positioning as we got a big push here, sweeping push by Pax Ajax. Machine there being caught here by the advancing Rangers, but the MU-42 number two covers up here. Bibbon rushing in here. Flag 30 coming far here, anti-tank half to moving up. Hellcat moving in there. Troops there being more. There you go. Double slam there on the Vivalent. MD4 to return today up. We got smoke they're going down from Pax Ajax right at the right time. Grenades going off here. Orange Pest defenses are being surgically torn apart here. Got the martyr. Big blood there to Orange Pest as Pax Ajax keeps up the advance now. Vivalent there is trying to like slow down the Hellcat, but it's just not working. Panda 4, it was stuck with the damaged engines and can't support this engagement either. Got the Vibblebin. This is huge here for Pax Ajax delivering crippling blows here. Well, perhaps not quite crippling blows, but painful blows here. To Orange Pest. His Panther 4 is in trouble. Hellcat and Tang have to get tank themselves sides here. Fudging Pune. Glenn's trying to assist here. For some reason, he's sending his forces forwards there. Panther 4 popping the veterans' one ability, I think. Got the anti tank half tech, but the Hellcat is barely damaged at all. Orange Pest with more Panther 4s. What an absolutely. Brutal push of a Pax Ajax, and Pax actually goes for another half track. He's gonna go for like another anti tank half track? Is that really what he's planning here? I mean, you gotta admire that if that's the case. It's also highly surprising. Panda 4, they're almost done here for Orange Pest. Fresh Rap Squad's arriving here to support the 45th Infantry. Fudge makers in the south here busy. So half tech ready there. What will he do with it? Is the big question here. Engineers caught here by the Northern Victory Point. This is it going to be an M16 anti aircraft half tech? Perhaps anticipating Lloyd is here from Orange Pest? I mean, he's going for Lure for no! Pax Ajax is going for a third anti tank half tech here. Meanwhile, Orange Pest finally going for Schutzen. Two thumbs up. Yeah, third anti tank half tech. Over half an hour into the game, and Pax Ajax. He's still making sure he's got an anti tank half track. That is impressive. Shoots now almost done. Chain to the Panda 4 there. Black 30 supporting. 30 caliber is the machine gun there. Anti tank half tank body as well there. Further north here, American assault there. Is getting absolutely ground to pieces here by the machine gun and Rafa. They have Orange Pest Northern Forces, but the Hellcat is once more diving in here. Trying to save the Panda 4 here, ordering it to a fire. Doesn't work though. We got the Flag Fed of the Fang to the side armor here. 
actual Hellcat would have been shredded in moments because the Hellcat was very thin. There you go, packs of the punk Smokey. He's, I think, just at this point, waiting for the Grenadier's Pantherfast cooldown to wear off. There you go. Near point blank range, Flag 30's firing and gets the Hellcat with a Flag 30. You don't see that every day. Flag 30 falling back here. Grenadier's being mauled. Up north, he heavy fighting for the northern party. Scouts withdrawing. Raft squad heading south as well. Have we got the enemy force holding back here? Fudgemakers pushing forwards for the Fudgemaker Gavares. More engineers for Pax Ajax as the previous one did get absolutely smothered with German lead. There you go. Flag 30 to an attempted rescue there, I think. And a fresh push by Pax Ajax up north. Orange Pest, I imagine, is going to try and set up for another Panzer 4. We'll see. South side here. Rangers rifling forwards here. Pushing out from the beaches. The, the cliffs. I suppose that's more accurate. Machine and then narrowly saves the day there for Orange Pest in the south here. We've got 185 strong 71. Orange Pest still has a lead here at Pax Ajax, but uh, only by so much. All about in fourth here. We've got Ralph Graham in the center vic or northern victory point. What would be next here for Pax Ajax and from Orange Pest? Oh dear, he's actually, actually researched the mines, the entertainment mines, so he can actually lay them down this rifle and his bazooka team. Two thumbs up. Certainly warrants then, of course, all these mines from Orange Pest, but of course, also means if he doesn't spot it, his Panther Force is going to be in a really bad spot very fast. Up north, Rangers moving in, but there you go. MD4 Troop Team the Rescue alongside the Fudge Amigas and the Fudge Impunia. You can still stand to upgrade those if you like. Oh well. Rangers there with a deep flank here, really good flank here, devastating airburst shells, until he find there as well, just a brutal push here from Pax Ajax, decimating Orange Pest here, he's lost the machine crew, he's lost the flat crew, his function is still keeping up fight that there is some now pushing back the Rangers, fresh Panther 4 there, good lord, engaging the flat 30 here, Orange Pest make a run for the weapons as he can, sacrificing the Squad to crew both of them, wow, that's a Bit bold. Perhaps a misclick though. Perhaps intentional. Then he's with Rask on the south side here. In the center there, steadily moving forward to the Panda 4. Fresh Hellcat there for Pax Rejax. 183 here, victory points wise. It's getting pretty close. Pax there having Orange Piss triple cap there for at least a brief while. Archie Makers has Rask scored here. Grenades being chucked. Mortify hitting the Americans a bit awkwardly enough. Fudge oh, makers are rather exposed. The Panther 4 that is helping turn the tide over the Northern Victory Point. Machine in there, ace little hold up. Pioneers moving into the engineers. That's going to have to be a withdrawal there, I think, from Orange Pest. Those pioneers are not going to be doing a lot of good for them. And there you go. We've got a lot to call in now here. Timing seems. I'm not so sure to make of that. Maybe just wants to like keep his opponent out of the center for a while there. Buy him some breathing room, which I suppose it does make sense. That does feel a little bit expensive for that. Territory lost. Because I don't think he was expecting like really do a lot of damage to Pax with this directly. So it feels like this is just more to like, you know, set up a no-go zone to these again. Buy him some breathing room because he can block the center. Like, you know, he has to, like, move towards the science, which are both a lot more narrow in one way or the other. And Pax clearly doesn't have an anti aircraft after him. He's not for now. Troops there pushing forwards. We've got still two Ranger squads here for Pax. Could consider a third one. Oh, hell, he could consider a fourth one if he wanted to. Quick better straight thing. Catching the mortar crew there. We have to push towards the center here. But we got Ace Fudge Megas here, backed up the info too. And there's still the Panther Fall here. Meeting up here with Pax's men. Grenades off there though. Good flank by Pax. Forcing it away there. Thumbs up. Further south here, Flak 30 and Glenny is a bit busy. Almost got a rough squad here, but no. Fortune's miles upon Pax again. And the Pioneers are getting crushed by the Rangers. Practically melted. We got another Marty here for Orange Pest. Good indicates how pressure he's feeling right now. Either Pax Ajax. 
He's gonna go for Mardis. Anti tank optics, or these anti tank optics, definitely proven to be, I think, fairly worthwhile investments for Pax Ajax alongside the Hellcats. <sighs> Not very often you get to seem like, you know, get used like that, but Pax Ajax knows a thing or two clearly. Mine's laid down here. And he's been suppressed by the 30 cal here. Mard almost done. Up north range is routed here. Machine and they're being grenaded. And they got the Zucatine in the net as well here. Anderson, M4 to ready. Yeah, the increasing number of mines is definitely an increasing threat there to Orange Pass as well. And in fact, now Pax Ajax has the leader of Orange Pass in terms of victory points. Situation for the Germans is definitely starting to look pretty rough. And Guinness was the M4 to got to the fire here. Hellcat dashing straight down the middle here. Going for that. Ooh, Marta. Marta, the Marta trying to favor to the Hellcat. No, doesn't get it off. Machine gun there. It is about to get wiped out. Really just incredibly hectic match at this point. Like, just the first two minutes might have been fairly slow, but uh, after those two minutes, it's just been nearly non stop action. Fighting is pushing forwards here. Bring his wing forwards. Fighting is closing in here. Scouts in trouble. Black 30 there, there's the Rangers. Enforcing healing, Hellcat, they need of some repairs. The shooting event setting out. A victory point has fallen into enemy control. So further south here, got the victory point then running off again. We got 185 is 98. Another martyr for Orange Pest. Another Hellcat for Pax Ajax. Oh, no, cancels the martyr. Cancels the martyr. Pushing forward here, Rangers versus Fachimagus. Backed up with the Panda 4. They will not linger at the branch pistols. Fachimagus is taking heavy losses there. Anti tank half track on the job again. And there you go. Veteran wants to be exactly on the Panda 4. Two thumbs up. Another great shot there. Hellcat number two almost done there for Pax Ajax. Main rush for the southern point. We do have an M4 to covering that up. Arguably, it might have been worth saying a machine gun bank for that run, using the entire machine gun crew for that. Second Hellcat ready. 180 versus 89. Not of the hanging back, Panther 4 being fixed up. Mortars just abandoned there. Gassing is staring up for another Panda 4. Probably just for the realization of all these ranges, he can't like afford to like go too heavy in the anti tank roll either. Particularly since he's already like lacking infantry as well. Smoke the plot again. Two thumbs up. Consistent, I think, solid use of smoke here by Pax Ajax. So now I think one of those differences in also in terms of like plays, like again, Orange Pest has released a lot of smoke, whereas Pax Ajax has been very consistent and quite good with it as well. Scout the bit, the dust, that's the second scout squad wiped here. 164 is 89. Mortar hard at work there, Rangers pushing forwards. Two east of the Ranger squads here. Pushing ahead here. And the four moving up here. Mart, of course, remaining reserve here. Also worth noting. Pax hasn't really like gone for like any drop-ins for the range, he's just using the bars and the Thompsons. That's it. Marta there though. In the line of sight here, the double hell cat's gonna lose it here, I think. As he gets exceptionally lucky, which clearly isn't the case here. And help cause Pax Ajax with a Marta removed his course, just gonna go straight for the Panda 4, which is now in a really bad spot as he doesn't have like much else in support here. And tank half the goals rushing in here. Almost got the Hellcat here. Lloyd called in again. Fox make his flanking in. Oh, almost had something here. Flak 30 wiped out. Ranger stage is causing absolute chaos here. It's just melting. Orange Pest forces at this point. Oh, good God. He got both Hellcats with a single strafe. Ooh. That looked brutal. You don't see that very often. That might, to an extent, help Orange Pest. That does mean this Panther Force is going to be having less threats at it. That said, 
Pax Ajax has such resource lead right now, he can easily just build more Hellcats. Which is, of course, exactly what Pax Ajax does. Orange Pest, meanwhile, remains in a, well, quite uncomfortable position here. Odds oh, fairly stacked against We got 65, it's under 58. MG-42, Grenadiers, Falchim, Pioneer on the Rangers. We got another Falchim squad here now for Orange Pest. Calling in some more elite infantry. We got a Thresh Panther already here for the Falchim. We got a Ramke. Further south, now to push for the Sun Vector Point. We still have the MD-42 there. We'll modify here. And we got more Samax planned out there for Orange Pest. Two thumbs up. Fresh hell can out. Rushing towards the south here into the MD-42. But of course, might, yeah, get hit by what Foster's rocket here. Two thumbs of Pax Ajax, or just one thumb, too much, too much. So good use of white phosphorus there, of course. Incredibly powerful ability in the right hands. Machine's about to get wiped out. North here, Penfold going for it. Almost got the mortar. And seeing after is the Panda 4. Using the target weak point ability there, by the way. Good use of ability, of course, by Pax. And now we got the Hellcat rushing in here. I do think he's got the better joint ability to activate, which reduces the rate of fire, but the problem is when he's engaged by the Hellcat and an entertaining half tank, this is a bit tough though, of course, he does have the function punch repairing, and of course, he also has the armored science coach, which does make the panda four just a bit tougher. Which might just yes, allow him to win the engagement. Another Hellcat up, Rob's got wiped up the function biggest. Orange Pest, of course, is far from done. He still has teeth and he is biting as viciously as he can here at Pax Ajax. Not grabbing the BAR though. Machine's thing up in Fox making south for here. We got high 50 minutes 45. Rangers have the flames was actually finally dropped in some weapons here. Managed to pick it up from the near squad. That seems to have been wiped. The Zuka team there being forced away here. We got 157 versus 40 here. Panda Fort Betty 2. Enemy movement here. And there go Grenadiers with a BAR. Made an upgrade is Fudge Makers with, but the Grenadiers have a good benefit from it. Range being forged into the Grenadiers. We've got the Falchim Pioneers holding up here as well. Southern points here being seized. 150 from 35. Range being forged here though. Panda 4 on the move, engaging. 156 with the front. Grenade. They're almost taking out the Falchim Pioneers at ace level 2. Oh, he's got to get them. And he gets them. A brutal wipe here again from Hax Ajax on Orange Pest. Finally pushes back the Ranger score. But there you go. Hellcat. Ranch and Fracture folks on the down there. And now again we got here Orange Pest going for the kill here, lunging in like a maniac in a coffee shop after dark. Marta moving up here, don't think you want to see it with the Panda 4, he could get lucky. Marta misses though, Panda 4 does not. Almost got it there. Got the Hellcat, oh boy. Entertaining half been getting the Panda 4 though. Gets it, but loses the Entertaining half tag. Got 142 versus 35. This match just does not stop. Even as both sides are taking increasingly heavy losses, they're still at it. We're up, boys. Where'd you need a 30 cal? Like a pair of maniacs in a Texas saloon. Right. Doing happy hour. Another Hellcat there for Thunderbird, or AKA Pax Ejax. Can't stand around all day. AKA the Wisconsin Malamute. But anyways, right wing forwards here. North here, Fudge Maker is catching another push for Pax H walks north here. White Fossil's Rocket again employed with lethal efficiency. Further south here. Ranger spotted right. We've got a route coming. We actually got stars in our orange pairs. Tentative, one thumbs up, second thumbs up. He actually builds it. That's gonna be a very elite heavy infantry force now here for Orange Pest, though, fairly late into the game. Fresh Hellcat out here. East Germans here engaging the Ralph Scott, forcing them back here. Hellcat swooning forwards there. Rangers pushing northwards. Machine gun almost taken out. The other thing is set the stars to them, so yeah. Tentative at this point. Honestly, I think stars to them might make more sense because they can't be countered by the Hellcat. That's just me. Now they're entertaining half-trick lightning on the way for Pax Ajax. Like, 
almost 50 minutes of the game, and he's still building out to tank half to. That is commitment, people. Commitment. Two thumbs up. Strafing right in there. Right, get suppressed. Mortifying down death here. People in Dorma's done. People in Dark there. Got the Hellcat diving in there. Orange Pest does need munition for a Panda Faust here. 112 is 20. Marta done. Veblen sending out. Got another half check out for Pax. And there you go. GG. Game over. An absolutely brutal battle here with a lot of back and forth and a lot of losses here. That was an incredibly nasty fight here. Could have done with some more mines, I think, towards the south side. Maybe a bit in the north. There's definitely some slight odd tactical moves there by Orange Pest at times. Whereas Pax Age just very aggressive. They just kept attacking there. Certainly kept up the pressure. He also just made good use of that entertaining half today against Orange Pest, which I think also proved to be crucial there. So there you go. Hope you got this match. You learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment, tell friends, tell a family. And as always, you can support the podcast by donating your Patreon Patreon. This is Imperial Machine. Cheers. And see you all tomorrow for our last episode. Bye, everyone.